My dear friends in Christ, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me on the second Sunday in Ordinary Time to reflect on the Gospel of John chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. And the theme is a question, what do you want? Back when I was in school, I had a history teacher, Mr. Pilo. He was a captivating speaker, he had wit and humor. In class, he wanted us to answer his questions, and he would often ask us instead, why do you always answer a question with a question? Then one of us would ask, what did you say? His reply would be, that's what I meant. We would all laugh at his wit, but we also knew that his humor saved us because we didn't even know the answer to his original question. Answering a question with a question was exactly the case in this week's Gospel. Here Jesus asked Andrew and the other disciple, What do you want? They answered him with another question, Where do you live? We could have laughed along with Jesus at his, at his disciples' response. While the name of the second disciple is not mentioned, many scholars believe that it is likely to have been John, the beloved disciple himself, the author of this gospel. Indeed, we can identify with him and with these two disciples who perhaps did not know what they wanted, for what they were seeking. They knew that Jesus had the answer to their question, where do you live? When he answered, come and see, they instinctively followed him. Can you imagine what it was like seeing and experiencing for yourself what it's like to be in the company of Jesus? The two disciples must have found him so captivating that they spent the rest of the day with him from that moment. Jesus knows what he has to offer us and invites us to examine his invitation seriously with the hope that in seeing, we may believe. So what would you tell Jesus if he were to ask you, what do you want? Would you say, I want to be rich, famous and powerful? Or would you answer his question with a question like the rich young man who asks, what must I do to gain eternal life? And Jesus has the answer to that. Go sell everything and come and follow me. He wants his disciples who are willing to give up everything in order to be free and detached to follow him. Hence, he points us to another seeker of truth and life, Simon, son of John. He transformed Simon by his encounter with him and gave him a new name, a new purpose, and a new mission. You are to be called Kephas, meaning rock. When we encounter the Lord, a good question to ask is not what I want, but Lord, what do you want of me? Our mission is from God, not from ourselves. God calls us to be joyful and sends us out to bring his joy and love to others. We can still hear clearly today and be touched by the words of Pope Francis who tells us in the opening lines of the Evangelii Gaudium written over 10 years ago in 2013. We evangelize not with grand words or complicated concepts, but with the joy of the gospel which fills the hearts and lives of all who encounter Jesus. And with that, let us have two questions for reflections. The first is, what do you want and what do you seek? The second is, how can we encounter Jesus in our daily lives? And with that, I invite you to pray for peace in the world. Lord God of peace, hear our prayer. 
We have tried so many times over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by, our, by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness have we experienced? How much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? And how many hopes have been buried? But our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. Guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say, never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother and sister. And our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace, shalom. Amen. And God bless all of you and continue to follow Jesus and bring peace into the world. Have a good day.